In our state capitol, a newly filed bill by the House could prevent minors from attending drag shows, which some say is a gender-bending art form. Nine on your side's Claire Curry joins us at our Jacksonville studio with more on this bill and response from LGBTQ plus supporters in the East. Claire. Angie, House Bill 673 is an act to clarify the regulations on adult live entertainment, but some say it's just an attack against the queer community. I really think it, at the heart of it, this is an excuse to just stop a performance they don't want to see and they don't want to see in our community. The bill states that male or female impersonators would no longer be allowed to perform in public or on private property if an audience member is under the age of 18. One organizer of charity drag brunches in Greenville says all of their shows are age appropriate, but this would change how they do things. We'd have to start checking IDs and, and asking, you know, what ages people are. And um, I think that would kind of discourage families from attending what is normally a fun, entertaining fundraiser for charity. If it's not going to be an age appropriate show, they will post that. They will let you know. And with vague language in the bill, there are worries for transgender individuals. When is it drag and when is it somebody living their authentic self as a trans identified person? And so there's some real questions that have not been answered as part of this bill that are going to be lingering out there. As well as concerns for the future of public pride parades and festivals. One Jacksonville parent with two children within the LGBTQ plus community says it's important for her kids to be able to express themselves. It just gives them hope for the future and lets them know that they do have other people out there that are like them, that they're not alone in this world. If passed, anyone violating the bill would be charged with a misdemeanor for their first offense and a felony for following offenses. Keith Kidwell is a sponsor of the bill. We reached out to Kidwell for a statement and have yet to receive one at this time. To read a statement from the current Miss ENC Pride, Michelle Michaels, we'll have that posted on our website at WNCT.com. In our Jacksonville studio, Claire Curry, nine on your side. Claire, thank you.